Good morning, Tracy. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. Just good? Here you are with this gigantic, oh my God, the book that people are going to be reading. You've got a production coming. I mean, it should be, I'm fantastic and I want to share it with the world. Right. I, you're right. I am fantastic. You are correct. <laughs> You've put something together here that I'll bet you that nobody 10, 15, 20 years ago would have predicted. And yet here it comes. It's flowed through you. And now it's reaching us as viewers as well as readers. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think it's just luck and, um, you know, being in the right place at the right time, kind of, <laughs> that has gotten me to where I am with this particular story. Being in the right place at the right time. Now now you have my attention in the way that, that because, I mean, as a writer, so many writers are, you know, they're, they're told no, no, no. But but now they, they, they're saying yes to you. And, and, and here it comes, you know, pirates and mermaids. And, and, and the one thing that, that's always been fascinating is that we love the bad boys and we love the bad girls as well. What, what is it when, when they get together like that, the pirates and the mermaids? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's definitely a popular pairing. I have learned pirates and mermaids. I think, you know, a lot of kids really, really love pirates. They love this idea of, um, you know, like the kind of traditional swashbuckling pirate. They love how pirates say arg and grr and that sort of thing. And they also love the fantasy of a mermaid and um, mermaids being these these creatures that can like really do anything they want right under the sea so they seem like a really good pairing because of course they both live out on the ocean but what i tried to do with mermaid and pirate was kind of introduce the idea that yes they both love the ocean they're you know they live out on the ocean but they really do come from two different worlds so you have mermaid who has like her own language right she has a sort of watery language And Pirate has his own language. And what happens when the two of them come together and cannot quite communicate, um, even though they find themselves in a difficult position together? Like, what happens? That's that's really what I was going for. How did you create those those two personalities? Because, I mean, I mean, it's I mean, did you bring them together as a collaboration right on the spot or did you write out each part and then and then figure out a way that where the editor could do that? Funny enough, um, I tend to have a lot of toys in my office, (laughs) and I switch out my toys all the time, um, you know, and like have different toys around because I I have so many, but I can't have them all in the office all at the same time because my office is kind of small. So one day I actually had a stuffed mermaid and a stuffed pirate on the chair in my office, on, on an armchair in my office. And I looked at them and I thought to myself, huh, I wonder what would happen if the two of them had to try to communicate. And it occurred to me almost immediately that they would not have the same language. So that's actually how the story started. It started with two um, stuffies uh, on my armchair in my office. So I had the two of them immediately from the very beginning. And then it was just like working out, like, you know, what kind of problems? would these two have together, you know, what kind of um, trouble could these two creatures get into over the course of the story? So it was a matter of uh, figuring out all of the little scrapes they could get into, but also the funnest part for me was um, figuring out their language and, like, how they try to communicate with each other and how it just does not work ever because they don't speak the same tongue.